Coming up on this special edition of Out of the Blue. MTSU President Sidney A. McPhee once again kicked off a new academic year with his annual State of the University address to faculty and staff. Find out what the university's top administrator had to say regarding the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Hello and welcome to a special edition of Out of the Blue. I'm Chris Davis. Now in his 14th year of leading the Blue Raider campus, MTSU President Sidney A. McPhee gave his annual State of the University address before hundreds of faculty and staff who returned to campus to start the fall semester in late August. McPhee delivered his hour-long remarks at the traditional fall faculty meeting inside Tucker Theater. With a focus on student retention, graduation, and careers, the president encouraged his faculty and staff to embrace the challenges facing higher education, especially the growing demand to help students succeed inside and outside the classroom. Here's a portion of his remarks. Now, as we embark on this new academic year, as an institution, there are many reasons to celebrate some of the absolutely amazing accomplishments this past year by our faculty and staff. Ladies and gentlemen, these accomplishments continue to bolster our standing as a top-tier, comprehensive public university and enhance our reputation across the nation and, I might add, across the world. We're no longer that just local, college in Murfreesboro, in this sleepy, quote, town of Murfreesboro. We are making waves. People are asking what's happening, what's going on in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Give you some example of some of the accomplishments this past year. The Tennessee Higher Education Commission granted MTSU requests to create a bachelor's degree in mechatronics engineering. It was one of the fastest approval of degree programs, I think, in the history of TX. And with the support of our legislative delegation, this new and innovative degree program was developed. In addition, with the support of local industries, they encourage us supporters, including Nissan and Bridgestone. The area of research, ladies and gentlemen, has always been a major focus of our university, and you are hearing it from the horse's mouth. Some people call me horses, other things, but the horse's mouth. Research will continue to be an important priority at this university. MTSU's leadership in research and in transforming students into scholars support our goal as a major comprehensive research and teaching institution. In this regard, we initiated new collaborative projects this past year with nine Tennessee colleges and universities, plus Alabama from out of state, Alabama A&M, and we submitted over $17 million in research-related proposals. We saw an increase in the National Science Foundation funding to $2.8 million, five times more than last year. Not enough, but at least we're moving in the right direction, and the National Institutes of Health funding of $632,000 through new grant successes. And Dr. Jason Jessen in biology received the largest grant at MTSU from the National Institutes of Health, totaling $1.6 million. Is Professor Jessen here today? Is he here? Let's give him a round of applause, and I guess he's out getting more money from the National Institutes of Health. Now, with respect to our enrollment, our census will not be official for several more days. However, it appears from all the trends we're seeing this year that our overall number will be down slightly from last year. Nevertheless, there are a few bright spots that I want to point out to you. 
I am pleased, ladies and gentlemen, to report that MTSU will again welcome the largest class of first-time freshmen in the Tennessee Board of Regents system. We will also again welcome the largest pool of incoming transfer students in the TBR system. We have a 30% more transfer than any other TBR institution in the state. And about 70% of the most recent graduating class, and this is what I'm really proud of, and I hope you are as well, over 70% of the students graduating from Rutherford County's most prestigious Magnet High School, Central Magnet School, chose MTSU for their institution to pursue their higher education. If you don't know much about Central, we have some of the top universities around the country that camp out at Central in order to recruit their students all over the country. 60 plus of the 90 plus that, are gra that graduated this year chose your university stay home here at MTSU to pursue the education. That deserve a round of applause. And some of you are parents that work there. Tell them how much we appreciate that. Another bright spot in our enrollment this year and last year is the increase in the number, the significant increase in the number of international students last year. Our international student undergraduate enrollments have increased 20.7% over the fall of 2013 semester and new application increased by 35%. And also for the first time, more than ever, over 400 MTSU students this past year participated in study abroad programs around the world, ladies and gentlemen. Over 400 of first generation, primarily first generation students that I will have never had the opportunity to travel to Asia, Africa, Europe, Central America, South America, the Caribbean, are traveling and studying and learning to be better people and expose themselves. And we established this past year and implemented a three plus one plus one programs with two prominent Chinese universities. And my good friend, Senator Ketrin, was present at one of those where they announced an unbelievable class that have joined to be a part of this university. Let's give David Smith, our Vice Provost for International Affairs, since he's come on board and enrollment of international student has gone from 300 to approaching over 900 students this year. Let's give, David, would you stand? Let's give him a round of applause for his outstanding work. I am True Blue. As a member of this diverse community, I am a valuable contributor to its progress and success. I am engaged in the life of this community. I am a recipient and a giver. I am a listener and a speaker. I am honest in word and deed. I'm committed to reason, not violence. I am a learner, now and forever. I am a Blue Raider. I am a Blue Raider. I'm a Blue Raider. True Blue. At Middle Tennessee State University, we are devoted to student success. We offer the advantages of a major comprehensive university with the care and attention found at a small college. We are a community that believes in learning, growth, and service. We hold these values dear, and there's a simple phrase that conveys them. I am true blue. I am true blue. I am true blue. Being a Blue Raider takes more than just coming ready to play. A Blue Raider doesn't just leave it all on the field. It's not just a matter of simply fighting for every inch. At their very core, a Blue Raider is true. Are you? Middle Tennessee celebrates 100 years of football this season. Rise up, let them hear you in Floyd. Season tickets on sale now. Go BlueRaiders.com slash tickets. 
Would you like to prepare students for the future and carry on the legacy of your favorite teachers? Middle Tennessee State University education students explore proven instructional methods and discover innovative tools and approaches that are changing the way children learn. Our graduates' extensive student teaching experience makes them highly sought after by schools throughout the Southeast. This is just one community among many. Explore all that MTSU has to offer. Devoted to student success, Middle Tennessee State University. Now for most of the 13 years, I'm in my 14th year as president here, but most of the 13, past 13 years of my presidency, I have used this line in my speeches all over the state at one time or another. And that line is, Middle Tennessee State University is the number one choice of undergraduate in the state of Tennessee. And it is indeed an applause line, and without a doubt, we, and, and particularly those of us at our university and our alums, love to hear that saying again and again. And for many years, Student enrollment was considered the metric to make the case for state appropriation. That was how we were supposed to be fully funded. I didn't say fully funded now, because we never were fully funded based on student enrollment. If it were the case, MTSU would be the most highly funded institution in the state, because over 15 years, we have been growing at a phenomenal rate. Look at the numbers. It was supposed to be funded. That was how we were compared with our sister schools and our out-of-state peers. And that was how we defined ourselves in our marketing and advertising. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you today, times have changed as do the expectations of institutional performance by our state and federal policy makers and decision makers. You all know that in 2010, the General Assembly of the state of Tennessee enacted major reform to the higher education system, emphasizing rather than inputs, that means enrollment, outputs, degree completion. We don't need to make this complicated. The bottom line is our survival in now and in the future will not be saying that we are the largest undergraduate university in the state of Tennessee. It is going to be the number of students that this university produces for the workforce in this region and the state and whether or not those students receive job offers. That's the bottom line. That's been defined for us. Those are the primary metrics. So this has led us to a renewed focus on student success. I read somewhere in a survey done by the faculty last, uh, last semester by our former faculty senate president, and he was Serving the faculty, and this is ad lib, I know my assistant is getting a little nervous here because when I get away from script, but I think I want to make the point here that you can go back and tell your, fa your colleagues, faculty and staff. And there was this statement that says, McPhee only thinks about the budget and money, and that's why he's always talking about student success. Well, guess what? If you don't start thinking about student success and appropriation, you're not gonna have a job. You will not have the opportunity to feed your family. That's the hard, cold facts, ladies and gentlemen. There's no question that with the new focus and scrutiny on higher education, the days when we don't worry about how well we're doing in producing those students who have the interest, the motivation, and the dedication. Those days are gone. And you all remember, because I was a student before the Civil War, when I sat in my undergraduate class, and the professor came in Texas, 
and said, look to the right, look to the left. By the end of the week, half of you will be gone. And his prediction was correct. Those days are gone. Now, no one is talking about reducing standards, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But I want you to know that we as a university communicated with the governor and our local delegation, we have accepted and we have embraced this new emphasis by the state on student success and institutional performance. And we're going to be laser focused on doing our part, and we expect our students to do their part. And if they don't do their part, we will roll out the blue carpet and have them leave this institution, do other things. But we will do everything within our powers and resources to help students be successful. You might find it important to know that of the 21,162 undergraduates enrolled at our university last fall, only 7,780, or 30, approximately 37% of them were 20 years or younger. The average age of our students is 26. And yes, we are the number one choice for adult students of all of the four-year colleges and universities in Tennessee. And get this, the median family income of our students is approximately $70,000. That is compared to a median family income of student of UT University of Tennessee, Knoxville, 120,000 plus. Get the picture? These statistics speak to the fact that we have reached far beyond the typical so-called traditional freshmen, newly graduated high school seniors, and that we serve a much broader and diverse audience and population. So now more than ever, given the fact that the clarity of our mission from the Tennessee Board of Regents and the General Assembly, and given that the variety of options available to students, all of the private for profit institution, Western Governors University, you name it, the competition out there, and the need for us to be more cost efficient and effective in serving our students, we must Colleagues, we must ensure that we recruit, retain, and graduate our students who come with a motivation and do what they need to do with your support. Now, we are proud of our legacy. In the past, as the largest undergraduate university in the state, but we also recognize that despite how satisfying it is to make that claim, it is not, not how we should be defined and how she, we should want ourselves to be defined moving forward. Our future success and survival as an institution depends, let me repeat, on our ability to graduate students and prepare them for gainful employment. These are the metrics that matter. So, during the last academic year, we began an, ag an aggressive effort to implement initiatives to improve the educational experiences of our students in and out of the classroom. Some of these efforts, and many of them, were sweeping and bold changes include hiring 50, almost 50 new advisors, academic advisors, who will be housed in the individual colleges. They will work in concert with our faculty advisors, and together they will help mentor and guide students towards graduation. We are providing a state-of-the-art software tool developed by the nationally recognized education advisory board known as Student Success collaborative project. This new system will help faculty and staff identify challenges our students may encounter in the individual path towards graduation and degree completion. It will give them an early alert 
when a student may need intervention and guidance. It will create an advising record that keeps track of the advice notes and guidance that the student has received during his or her academic career. And using analysis of 10 years at MTSU student data, this system will identify at-risk students and will help us to identify their obstacles, the various obstacles to degree completion. Being a Blue Raider takes more than just coming ready to play. A Blue Raider doesn't just leave it all on the field. It's not just a matter of simply fighting for every inch. At their very core, a Blue Raider is true. Are you? Middle Tennessee celebrates 100 years of football this season. Rise up. Let them hear you in Floyd. Season tickets on sale now. Go BlueRaiders.com slash tickets. Nowhere else will you find one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with the faculty of award-winning industry professionals. Learn a foundation of skills to last an entire career, along with hands-on experience with the latest technology in today's media industries. At the third largest mass communications college in the country, Middle Tennessee State University. At Middle Tennessee State University, music majors receive a world-class education from a renowned faculty. Students experience first-chair instruction no matter their instrument. Our graduates go on to share their gifts on stages worldwide and instruct the next generation of musicians, never forgetting that they found their forte at Middle Tennessee. This is just one community among many. Explore all that MTSU has to offer. Devoted to student success, Middle Tennessee State University. Science shapes our society. The products, technologies, and efforts of the sciences affect much of our everyday lives. And the more advances we make, the more the careers of tomorrow will rely on a strong education in the basic and applied sciences. At MTSU, you will learn from Tennessee's best faculty, along with hands-on training with the latest equipment and facilities. Come and learn the science of success. So there's nothing wrong with students being challenged while pursuing a degree. We do not want to guide a student towards the easiest academic path, but rather we want to help them to make choices that has manageable risk combined with high student satisfaction and high career potential. In order to help us and move us expeditiously towards that path, we have recently hired a new Vice Provost for Academic Services, Dr. Richard Sluter. He assumes his new role on September 15th, but we told him we want him to be here today so that you all can know who he is. He's going to be working with the entire campus and providing leadership. Dr. Sluter, would you stand and be recognized as our newest employee to help us in this initiative. He comes to MTSU after serving as Vice Provost for Recruitment and Outreach at the University of Central Missouri. He brings a wealth of experience and knowledge about student success issues and a proven, I underline that, proven track record of accomplishments, helping UCM increase its enrollment and leading its initiative to improve student retention and graduation rates. Now, as we approach the future, I want you to know we're excited about the direction of this university. And we are confident that we will contribute to the goal of increasing the number of graduates, continuing to put out the best graduates for the state of Tennessee. So in the coming year, what should we expect? What do we intend to do? We intend to continue our work on several developing and putting together strategically several new degree programs, including the Masters of Science in Finance, the Masters of Arts in Liberal uh, Studies and Liberal Arts, a BS in Global Sciences and Cultural Geography, and a BS in Theater. Those are some of the focus that we'll be putting on for a new program next year. We will continue to explore ways to create financial incentives for incoming students 
to graduate on time. Many schools exploring various alternatives with respect to reducing the cost of students attending the high tuition rates and the inflation, the recession that we're experiencing is really creating a hardship on our students and we must find ways to address that issue. We need to develop target geographical areas where we can provide some of these financial incentives and offer it to select out-of-state students. We need to develop an aggressive outreach recruitment efforts for our common market programs. We need to target certain public and private high school to increase the enrollment of high ability students. We also need to begin preparation, intense preparation for the institution's Southern Association of Schools and Colleges named SACS reaffirmation, 10-year reaffirmation. It's a major undertaking for our university, and each of us need to be involved in that. And then we need to continue our efforts to aggressively implement our quest for student success plan. If you have not read that document, we held four town hall meetings last spring, open to the campus, so that you can be informed about our quest for student success and that you would take a personal role and interest in moving us forward as we implement that plan. We will continue to aggressively pursue that. So I encourage you to visit our website, mtsu.edu slash student success. We have lots of information on that website about our initiative and figure out a way how you can be involved. I would like for each of you, every morning that you get up, to think about one thing, just one thing that you can do for that day or that coming week to help move the university towards its goal. And if you do that, ladies and gentlemen, this institution, even now a great institution, will experience just incredible progress and performance, and will continue to separate ourselves from the peer. It is important to know that any of these ideas advanced through our quest for student success do not include watering down our academic programs or rigor. So as I remind you last year, I ask each of you to remember that no matter what you do, as a member of this faculty, staff, and administration, all of us have a responsibility for student success. And I want each of you to remain true blue. Thank you so much for your attention this morning. I look forward to working with you in the coming year. And indeed, we'll continue to make this university an incredible place to live, study, and grow for all of our community members. Thank you so much and have a great new academic year. Well, that's it for our special edition of Out of the Blue. For more information on MTSU News, be sure to go to mtsunews.com. Until next time, stay true blue.